tech guys today i'll be showing you how to block unauthorized users from connecting to your router if you have ever noticed your internet is slowing down or you suspect someone is actually pick backing off your network this guide will exactly what you need to secure your wi-fi and keep unwanted devices off your connection before we dive into the solution let's quickly understand the issue Unauthorized users can slow down your network speed and in some cases even compromise your network security. But don't worry, blocking these freeloaders from accessing your MTN router is, is super easy once you know how. Today, we'll walk through the simple steps to identify which devices are connected to your network and then show you how to block them. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to log in to your router's admin panel. Here's how we do it. So we go to our browser. This is our browser. In the address bar, we type 192.168.1, just like this, and you press enter. So it takes you to your router. The IP address is actually the gateway to your router admin. Then you'll be prompted to enter your password. By default, it's actually admin. Your username is admin. Your password is also admin. So I'll just type admin and click login. So if you have changed this before, you enter the one you updated it with. If you are using a ZLT50X Cassis route or any, any model, these same steps work by entering the admin. So once you are logged in, it's time to see who is connected to your network. To do this, head over to these connection devices, connected devices from the connected devices, or sometimes you may see device list. It depends on the model of your router. Here you will see, if we click on it, here you see the list of all the devices that are connected to our Wi-Fi. Each device has its own unique name and also their own MAC addresses over here, which is a string of numbers and letters. You will want to identify which one belongs to you or your family or your colleagues. Any device you don't recognize can be unauthorized user. So now that you know who is connected, Let's get to the good part, blocking unwanted user. So there are two ways you can do that. You can actually block the user from here. Like if you watch, I block someone already so he doesn't have access to connect to the router. You can block from here. So if he's actually on the your personal or router at home, where you just have only your phone and your laptop devices connected, you just go to advanced settings, then go to firewall, Come to port forwarding or mac forwarding and click on it you can see mac ip address or port forwarding you enable it accepted you can now apply so when it applies here here allows you to actually enter the mac address that actually um you want to actually have access to your router so anyone you add will be displayed here so what i can do is to go to back to my um listed device copy this mac address copy go to advanced settings web firewall port forwarding come here and paste the mac address so i pasted the mac address so this is actually a mac address i want and i can click here accept so drop means remove the um mac address then accept means you're adding it. so if i click here and apply you can say okay I can say mobile so if you watch here the mac address has been applied here you can see it this is the mac address actually active so here you can actually delete it should in case you see you are adding someone and person is no more your house or whatever you can actually delete it by clicking delete to remove the mac address so this is actually how you block that then you can actually use on that method is by going to your dist connected devices and click on block so when you click on block just like as i did here the person is blocked you can't have access to your router then you can click on remove to do what to actually add the person back so the person can get connected to your router so these are the two ways you can do that under high effective way to boot unauthorized users of your network is by changing your wi-fi password which you can do from over here come over here 
Yes, here you can change your Wi-Fi password and your Wi-Fi settings. You can do that from here. So this is on that way. So you change your password. Make sure that you use strong password. Ideally, a mix of letters, numbers are simple. Don't use things like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or password one, two, three. So make sure that your password is strong. So once you have changed your password, any authorized user who is connected to your um, network will be automatically kicked out from your networks. Then now that you have actually blocked unauthorized users, let's keep your network safe with some extra features. Use stuff like W3A, WMPA3. But if you don't have it, you can actually rely on WA2 encryption for strong extremial standard. Then also hide your network. You can also choose to hide your Wi-Fi name. This means only people who know your Wi-Fi name can try to connect. This is actually where you can turn it off or turn it on. Then regularly check for suspected devices. I do that frequently. So when I'm connected, I'll go to my connected devices, click here to look who is connected. If I'm not, if I don't know who is connected, I'll just block the person like I did on this. So that's it, folks. With these simple steps, you can have taken control of your network and ensure that only the devices you trust can connect to your MTN router. Keep your Wi-Fi secure, means better internet speed and peace of mind. If you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Kinspire for more tech tips and tricks. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future upload. And if you have any question, like I always say, or topics you would like me to cover, drop in the comment below. Thanks and see you in the next video.